Hey everyone, welcome back for more XO Zero's content. Today's video, we're going to discuss the hero grind for FC Battery, her stats, her skills, playability, recommended guardian stones, synergy with other heroes, overall rating, and my final thoughts. But before that, if you want to see more XO Zero's content, please hit the subscribe button down below. So here we are at uh, Battery's hero story or hero profile. So Bathory hails from the nation Greenland. So she's a frost element and her position is attack and her attack type is magical. So her race actually is elf and she's young at age 21 for an elf. So for her stats, her strengths are she has high attack, she has average HP, she has average crit hit, average attack speed and average dodge um and her weakness is she has low defense low hit and low block uh, Bathory is not that um actually bad in terms of defense um or survivability but if you really want to make sure that she casts her s2 spell or s2 skill you have to make her tankier enough you have to improve on her defense um, most especially. Her dodge is, is, is pretty much average, so there's not a problem with that one. But the battery is passive. So she has mana utilization 3. So increases attack based on allies' mana count. So gain 1 mana if allies' mana count is at 10 or more on turn. Or gain mana if, if enemies' mana count is at 10 or more on turn. Okay. Her next passive is Breath of Mana. So over time effect, front row allies permanently gain one mana. And her next one is Tranquil, which um, is actually her unique passive. So grants allies with less attack than self with Tranquil mark and protects from death only one time. So this is the one that um, is usually... Um, uh, that makes uh, Bathory very strong and she she's actually being recruited for this ability. Um, she, sh she synergizes well with Ulub and Rera for this one. That is why you usually would see them um, three together in one team, especially in PvP. Her final passive is Heming Leva. So over time effect, so increases health of all allies except self by 20 percent so for this one um this is actually the additional skill when you get her fc um her regular form actually is pretty much good already even without her fc that is why i'm highly encouraging people not not to you know uh, just go after the fc if you have her non-fc form she's pretty good as well um there are just um additional stat uh, stat additions to to her non uh, to your to her FC form once you get her FC form. So again, uh, just don't worry if you have the regular battery with you. Okay, for her S one, so it's Moby Dick. So deals hundred two uh, damage to all enemies. Uh, this is a very uh, cost-efficient AOE for a one-mana skill, and this usually triggers uh, triggers uh, Summer's Blessing, usually in battles. That is why it's good to attack first with Moby Dick if your opponent has Summer's Blessing. Then for her S2, so uh, deals 357 damage to all enemies. It's a 5 mana skill, but it's a burst skill. Again, for burst skill, any mana in excess of the, the, the mana cost would be added to the damage total to your enemies. Just a friendly reminder, guys. Um, please um, don't forget to subscribe and support my channel. So there is a subscribe button that will appear down. So again, please support my channel. Okay, in terms of playability, Bathory is good in your tag or main PvP. Nowadays, she has returned to the main PvP because um, of her, um, what do you call this, signature force. 
it has become available i think last week was it or the week ago so right now battery is is very viable much in 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 pvp also in pvp tag and the next would be your pve so she is good in the chapters especially on 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 frost uh, element enemies that you need to break she is also good in your battle uh, because um, because of her tranquil um, passive she is also very good in your holy dragon grounds because she will she will um, extend or make your other heroes survivable she is particularly good in frost day she is also good in the core raid and pretty much any content that uh, you bring her in the game she will be pretty much very useful so for her recommended guardian stones, um, I have um, three um, choices that uh, will be discussed with you. It would really depend on what what type of build you want for your battery. So first and foremost, I want to discuss the frost set because um, what I did with mine is I wanted to make sure that she has enough defense to upgrade her from low status up to average. So the plus 700 um, makes her above average or not average in terms of her defense. That is why I chose the Frost set. But also, you also have two choices as well. You have, um, you can either put um, Nature set, which eventually gives her additional dodge and increases her dodge from average. Uh, once you awaken from Nature set, uh, it will also give you additional HP and also um, the other the, the last one would be your machine set um, her equip status effects is not that good but once you awaken her with the machine set she'll be get, she'll be uh, getting additional HP plus additional hit because her hit is I think she's pretty much average in terms of hit let me double check so no so she's pretty much low in terms of hit um you need to increase her hit as well so that you won't um miss hitting uh with your s2 so that is why i'm recommending the machine set effect as the third option so in terms of synergy with other heroes um bathory synergizes well with almost anyone uh, because of Tranquil. But she really synergizes well with both Ulum and Rera, especially. But um, there, are, there are other heroes that, that she, she protects well. Uh, the other set are heroes with low health and low defense. So the pretty much the squishy ones, um, she can protect them with Tranquil. So heroes with also with low attack stat because uh, in order for for heroes to be protected by Tranquil, they have to have lower attack stat than Bathory. Um, also, she should be accompanied with other Frost heroes, especially faster than hers, so that um, that hero will take off Summer's Blessing, then she can uh, use her skills to damage the enemies on the other side. Also, she also is uh, in need of heroes that generate mana. So the the one the one that comes to mind is always FC Iris. Um, there are other options like Metron and Pan if you don't have FC Iris. So for my overall rating, so the rating is scored one up to five. So five being the highest. So for her stats, I would rate uh, Bathory as a four. Uh, because primarily she only has I think three low stats which is low defense low hit and low block for her playability for the content I would rate her as a five because she you, you could really just bring her in any content literally um, I didn't I don't have a problem with her in terms of the other stages you could even bring her in content that doesn't have that doesn't require any frost break um, because of her tranquil passive that she gives to the whole team in terms of synergy with other heroes I would give her a four she doesn't really require a lot of support um, she can be easily be modified in terms of her stats 
and um, she can she can be versatile in terms of who to bring with with her but usually she is very much more effective when she is with Ulum and with Rera. So would you need her FC if you already have her regular form? Um, not really, but her FC would give you a big plus, a big bump uh, in terms of her passive and in terms of her stats. So for my final thoughts, so for in using battery please um, be careful of summer's blessing always identify if your enemy has summer's blessing and try to pick um when when to use her s1 and s2 skills Prefer preferably you should have an a another frost hero that can attack and take off summer's blessing before you trigger battery skills also uh please make sure that rera is awakened uh, and also she has signature force uh, when when you bring her in the team when you have opened up the signature force for battery because once Rara has signature force her signature force is frost and usually when she attacks first uh, she deals damage with 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 her own with her own damage and she heals damage uh, and she deals damage with frost attack for signature force which takes out your summer's blessing and then battery can deal damage on her own if you have iris on the team i'm sure after that eventually battery can use her s2 skill to, de to deal damage and last thing about battery is you need to increase her survivability particularly her defense and her dodge anyway guys that's it for me so please uh, write down your comments in 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 the comment section below um, Are you excited about using your battery now that you pulled for her or? Do you do you think that battery has a lot of competition now in the meta? Anyway guys you all stay safe and I'll see you in the next video warning out